um, it's like a projection of your imagination. It's like as if you were transporting yourself to a stage. Yes. You know? An opera stage in this case, but in the video it's like it's, it's only in your mind, you know. We, it's, there's no real theater, right. there's no real stage, and this is your living room. And the theater is, is a, the paper box theater, mm -hmm. and we're going to imagine all this happening. The theater is in the table, and you, you build it yourself, let's say. Mm -hmm. And you, you are now imagining the performance inside of it. Mm -hmm. And in the end of the video, we can uh, see that everything was in the same room. It's the day of the shooting already. Uh, Ananda and I have been working pretty much the whole week, and obviously before that too, um, to yeah prepare the set, prepare the script, and uh, make everything ready so that we can shoot the Queen of the Night area today. It's 9.30 in the morning and um, we're still preparing and I thought I would show you um, yeah, the set and some uh, light situations and how we have been um, yeah, all setting this up. So basically we are in my living room pretty much. You see the kitchen uh, in the background and we have two scenes set up. So one scene is the living room scene um, where I'm making the theater <laughs> and then the other scene is the stage, the final theater. Uh, we have two parachutes. Um, don't ask me where I get, got that from, <laughs> I think. Um, so uh, one, one is being the dress of the queen and the other one is um, kind of the curtain um, for, for the sky. And we have some little clouds in the sky as well, which Ananda made, super cute. And the theremin itself is a cloud too. So we have moving heads, I guess this is called, so these lights can move and change colors. These ones on the floor, two of those. Spots to shine on the clouds. LEDs from behind, so we have can make the blue sky. And we have some stars as well. And now I'll just go ahead and plug all the lights in. It's it's so big, I can't even get this on, on the one shot, so I need to use the wide angle so you can see what's happening. This is the Ableton session. And basically I have the track already prepared. And now I have a track, one track for each light that I'm using. Let me see if everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. This is like a reset setting and then we go to start and um, yeah I think it works. So basically I can automate every parameter of every light. Let's take for example the speed of this moving circle there. You can change that by dragging up or you go down. Yeah, and basically every parameter, color, speed, movement, dim is controlled with these automations. Yeah, for example, this one we have, there's a light uh, like a dimming happening for the wall section. You can see that. I think it looks pretty cool. We have two lights in the front as well, so we can bring them onto the theremin. And um, hope it all works. <laughs> 